one of the things that I have worked with the people in Extremadura about is removing the non-free software from their version of GNU plus Linux. See, they set out to make their own distribution of GNU plus Linux, and they did, but they made a mistake that they didn't recognize as a mistake. And that ties into a particular gap in our community, a, a, a uh, what's the right word? People got sort of lost. In the 1990s, after Linux, the kernel, was added to the GNU system and made it a complete system and, pe and people started using it and it became popular, a lot of people talked about it and said, look at this powerful system. It'll stay up for months and won't crash. It's, you can make it do what you want. It's, they talked about technical advantages, purely practical benefits. They didn't say, this is the way you can live in freedom. But if you use any non-free programs, then they've taken away your freedom, so don't do that. So they lost track of the ultimate goal for which we had developed this system. They started thinking of it merely as a practical alternative to be judged on practical grounds alone. So other people thought, here is the system, but it doesn't have a program to do this job. Well, let's take this non-free program and put it in here. Then we'll have a system that does this job, except it's not a free operating system anymore. Once you put in this non-free program, then the users no longer entirely have freedom. Their freedom is no longer being respected anymore by this combination. And this became so common, so frequent, that most of the millions of users never even heard the idea that the point of this was so you could live in freedom and use a computer. They thought of these non-free additives not as poison, but as bonuses. And it, it's normal. In fact, it got to the point where you could go to a store and find various versions of the GNU plus Linux system. Typically, they were labeled as Linux, most of them. But in fact, they were versions of the GNU plus Linux system. And almost all of them had non-free software in there, too. So the whole point of being able to use a computer without giving up your freedom was being defeated. And the people in Extremadura thought it was normal to add some non-free programs. It didn't occur to them that the point was to reject all non-free programs so that they would have a distribution that didn't trample your freedom. So I, I got in touch with them, and the first thing I did when I heard they had a distribution was to check this. And well, I didn't personally check it. I found someone else to check it because I can't personally do all the work. So we found non-free programs and we went through a couple of iterations. First, they took out most of the non-free programs and we found there were a few left, so they took them out. And then we found out there was a program which was free software whose only job was to download a non-free program through the net and install it. Now, if you're just trying to play a game with yourself, that's good enough. You can say, what's on this disk is all free software. But w really, what good is that if the thing that it does when it runs is install some non-free software? So we talked with them, and they took that out, and now we're, we're waiting for the next version. And this, I think, is an illustration of what you know, this is not an unusual case. This is an illustration of how most of our community has lost track of what the whole point is. There are a lot of people who, are, who think of themselves as free software supporters, and they want to teach more people to use free software. And they think that if they get somebody else to use some free software and some non-free software, that that's success, because he's using some free software. They don't measure success in terms of whether everybody is free. They measure success by the popularity of free software. 
And ironically, many of these people are measuring by the popularity of the GNU operating system. So there they are saying, here we are, we're getting more people to run the GNU operating system, although they'll typically call it Linux. And I, who started the GNU operating system, I'm trying to tell them that the popularity of the GNU operating system is not the overall goal. It's not an end in itself. Popularity is not success for us. Freedom is success. Getting rid of non-free software, tearing off your chains is success. And the popularity of the GNU system is just a means to the end, and the end is freedom.